much. Okay. Yeah, let's, it's recording now. Let's go. Caroline, it's yours. Okay. Thank you for the invitation to the conference. And uh, as Matthias mentioned before, um, uh, I, I am a former professor, professor at the University of Debrecen, uh, Faculty of Health, uh, Social Work Department. And basically I am a social worker and uh, my topic uh, is in this conference is migration of destitute Hungarian female sex workers to Zurich. So um, my lecture is uh, rather practitional um, because uh, I will present, um, present the uh, research work, which one we carried out in 2013 in Switzerland. Um, and uh, I would like to present this uh, research work and uh, I would like to talk about the main results uh, of the research work, which one uh, can, uh, can be used as social workers uh, in the practice. So starting, starting point is uh, the risk of poverty and social exclusion. And um, I focused on um, uh, the Hungarian uh, data and the uh, EU uh, 27 countries. Um, as you can see uh, in the graph, uh, the risk uh, of poverty and social exclusion is increasing beginning of 2010 decade uh, in Hungary in the whole uh, population. And in time of our research, uh, was it in 2013, uh, it was on the top 35% uh, in the whole uh, population in Hungary. Average percent of EU 27 countries was 10% less than in Hungary. Um, it means that every third citizens touch in the risk of poverty and social exclusion in the whole population in Hungary. Um, it includes the low income, permanent un unemployment situation, and insecure housing, for example. Uh, um, now uh, I focused uh, for the children under age 18 and uh, you can see the risk of poverty and social exclusion for the children in beginning of 2010 decade in uh, Hungary and uh, EU uh, 27 countries. So the data is dramatically uh, in Hungary because um, if you can see that almost every second children touch in the risk of poverty and social exclusion in Hungary. Um, uh, it, the risk is constant in households where live single parents with child uh, or children. Um, households where there are three or more children, households where are the parents uh, are unemployment situation and households where the housing situation is insecure. Um, so um, look at the research background. Um, so as I mentioned before, I am a social worker and uh, I, um, I work uh, uh, in the field uh, with uh, homeless people uh, uh, on the street and with prostitutions uh, in the same situations. So um, I, I, I joined to the Periphery Association um, 25 years ago, uh, and uh, nowadays I am a 
um, former chairwoman in this association. So um, social work with prostitutes was carried out by some organizations in the country in Hungary in the early 2000s, including the Periphery Association in local place in Nyíregyháza, where I am now. When the municipality forbidden in near public institutions and places the women, uh, and uh, we, um, we noticed that some of prostitutes, typically women, went to work abroad after 2006. Hungarian women work uh, as a sex workers in Switzerland and other West European countries after 2006. So uh, uh, we started uh, to cooperation, we, it means the Periphery Association, uh, started to cooperation uh, with the uh, Floradora uh, service, local service in Zurich from 2010. And we, um, we created uh, some kind of professional programs, um, for example, visiting, visit, visiting to each other, field work and research work. And uh, we met many times with Swiss social workers and talked about Hungarian women in sex work. And we exchanged the experience with each other. In that time, uh, we had a common project work with three Hungarian and one uh, Swiss civil organizations. It called IRIS 2012. And uh, the, the project uh, in uh, was to develop the social provider concept for the improvement of life conditions and life sh chances of women living in prostitution. Uh, we focused uh, to the Hungarian uh, women in sex work in Hungary and in uh, abroad, especially in Switzerland uh, also. So timeline of research work, as I mentioned before, we made, uh, we carried out uh, our research work in 2030. And uh, of course we made the research plan and after that we applied a scholarship and we won it. And after that uh, we made a pilot uh, uh, research work uh, in the local place here in Nyíregyháza. Uh, Huszászlan is a, a segregated uh, um, area um, uh, here in Nyíregyháza and uh, most of the citizens who are living here, they are uh, uh, gypsy, the Roma uh, people. After that, we modified and uh, finalized uh, uh, our um, <clears throat> research material, and um, uh, we uh, made uh, the research work um, in September in 2013 um, in Switzerland. So, uh, as you can see, we have uh, uh, many uh, excellent. Uh, partners to the research work. And uh, I would like to uh, say thank you for everyone who uh, support uh, uh, our uh, research work uh, in that time. So material and methods uh, to the research work. Uh, the research was exploratory and descriptive, and it focused on the migrant Hungarian sex workers, perce perceptions of social support, and the individuals providing this support in two different settings when they are in abroad, especially in uh, Switzerland, and at home in uh, Hungary. 
Most of Hungarian sex workers lived in counties of east and south parts of Hungary. Uh, so these are uh, the, the poorest, the poorest uh, counties um, uh, of the uh, European Union and also uh, of the Hungary and, and the Hungary also, of course. So uh, this is a um, um, east uh, part and and um, uh, so uh, north part and and, and east part uh, regions and counties uh, of the country. Uh, we came in contact with 33 women in Zurich and Basel in 2013, and we had total number of our ISER test uh, 66. Um, we did we did the field research work, and we filled uh, in test in interview situation on the streets, and uh, while uh, completing the test, we talked with women about their family and work and the futures. So we used the interperson interpersonal support evaluation list test by Cohen and Hoberman. And we, mo and we made a modified version with uh, two with 20 items uh, in four dimensions. As you can see, informational support, spending free time together, instrumental support, and emotional support. Uh, we attached plus two supplements to the test. Um, one uh, is the data about social network, the women's social network, of course. And the second one is short questionnaire about background of prostitution. We ask the women in same time and place two times. Um, one of situation was when the women stay in abroad. Second was then they live at home in Hungary. Um, Yes, so uh, here uh, you can see the ISCL, uh, the modified ISCL test, uh, and uh, I'm going away. Yes, um, data were easily and quickly optioned due to three factors. First, this trust was developed because social worker from the local agency working with the prostitutes was included in the research team and provided introductions. Second, is respondents themselves were willing to take part in the study and wanted to talk about their situation. And the third, the researchers was a Hungarian social workers who, like me, uh, who expressed uh, positive attitude and acceptance. There were only one or two individuals refusing to participate and this occurred in the presence of their pimps or capo. Capo is a woman who pretend to be a prostitute but is actually in charge of the prostitutes. So it's a very special role. The capo is a very special role. Uh, role uh, 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 and actor uh, yeah, in the sex work uh, situation. So about um, a brief uh, um, the, the, so the dimensions and items of the ISCL test uh, you can you can uh, read the um, uh, description uh, in brief. Um, we ask uh, names of supporting persons in her life in Hungary and in Swiss in the first three uh, dimensions. Okay, look at the basic information about the uh, women. Uh, um, who uh, we uh, 
were touched in uh, in the research work. So um, basically demography and family status. Women's age were between 18 and 41 years and average age was um, 26 years. They are uh, all Hungarian women. Uh, it's important. Most of women have children. They live at home. The children live at home with relatives while their mom working abroad. Half of the women with children had one child while the others had between uh, two and five children. One woman talked that her children live in the foster care. Uh, what about the economy status, uh, the women's economy, economy status? We have that in mind that uh, the driving force of prostitution is basically livelihood. Women have low income in the household at home. These benefits generally don't enough to satisfy the basic needs. Three out of four women said that they haven't any professional, they didn't study after primary school, or they left out from the secondary school. Generally, they don't any chance get a job in the labor market in Hungary. The former uh, in the le legal labor market in Hungary. So, um, um, uh, information, uh, basic information about economic benefits of prostitution. So the uh, few statements. So 60% um, uh, of the women said that I have imagined when I finish sex work. So the average time is uh, 1.8 years. So this is the dream time. It's, um, it's not a real. Uh, they would like to, it will be happened that they uh, uh, finish the sex work um, um, about uh, two years, but this is the dream. Uh, uh, 70% of the women uh, said that I have imagined what kind of work I will do when I finish sex work. So the typically uh, professionals will be shopkeeper, hairdressers, vegetable seller. Um, and um, the, the last one uh, is uh, it's about 20% uh, of the women uh, said that I pay back debt from the money um, and uh, uh, yes and 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 the uh, and the main important answer that uh, most of the ninety percent of the women um, give everything for her children which they want the money which uh, they um, get uh, uh, in abroad. Okay, so um, information about the uh, certain relationships uh, in Switzerland and in Hungary uh, of the women. And uh, as you can see, the main relationships, uh, the direct, direct relationships for the Hungarian women, uh, the girls, the girls who are Hungarian, the girls who are uh, do the sex work uh, in the in the streets uh, in Zurich or in Basel, in the nearest uh, in the in the nearest uh, to herself, and. Um, and the other relationships, um, so the, 
a partner, husband, friend, who, who are uh, uh, the nearest uh, to the girl, uh, who, who are the sex worker in uh, Switzerland, and the social workers, and the social workers. And uh, what is the landscape in uh, Hungary? Uh, as you can see, the main important relationships is the uh, mother, is the mother, uh, the women's mother, uh, and the husband, uh, and the children, and the other relatives. Okay. So, Katalin, Katalin um, we have still one minute. So okay. That okay. Thank you. Can we can we go directly to to yes. the last slide of the summary? Yes, of course. Oh yes, please. Okay. Okay. Uh, finally, I would like to uh, present a matrix uh, of social support in case, of course. So uh, you can see uh, women who are ninety um, twenty nine years old and uh, and uh, uh, in this matrix you can see uh, her uh, networks uh, when uh, when she is in Zurich and uh, and she is a sex worker in in Zurich so the most important um, um, relationships for her as you can see the girlfriends uh, the friends uh, and the social workers and the police in the special time uh, when they have some kind of attract. And, uh, uh, and the, what about uh, when she's at home, uh, her, the most uh, relationships is the mother, father, children, and uh, the other relatives, of course. Mm -hmm. Yes, and the summary, this is the last one uh, slide, is the exp exploitation of prostitute women is multi-layered situation. The vulnerability of women to economic and social pressure in the determined factor in the prostitution. Based on our experience, social workers can use the ISCL test with target group um, in the street work, with homeless uh, also. Street work, uh, ISCL test is suitable for established connection quickly between social workers and clients. And social workers who use full ISCL test able to collect information in short time and identify the client's problems in the social space. Thank you for your kind attention. Thank you, Katalin, especially for ending up with the last slide. Um, so we have a very few moments for question and answers. Um, it was very interesting from my point to see that easel test because um, Scholz, Sabrina and I, we are working with this live course calendar, uh, which is similar, quite an innovative new method to get into contact what happens during this process or these different periods of life. Okay, uh, any comments or questions? For me, there's still one remark, and that is when, when we are talking, that what you presented fits very good into this idea of destitution as a process and as, as a status. And what I observed during your presentation, that there, there is this link which between the social policy of the country of origin, you mentioned that the people are always all the sex workers are already there in a in a situation of being excluded from different services and different social policy um, 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 uh, measures and 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 supports and then they move to switzerland and i wanted to ask you did you experience that the situation became worse 
So they lost more of rights while they entered or, or why, why, when they came to Switzerland? Or what would you say? Is it a, a win or a loss of social rights for these women from the country of origin to Switzerland, to Zurich? Uh, thank you for the question. I think it's a, it's a very interesting uh, question because uh, um, so the women uh, uh, don't um, don't so the women uh, who are working prostitution in sex work uh, don't notice their <clears throat> right their human rights mm -hmm. uh, in Hungary and in Switzerland also so I think. Um, The social workers, the social workers have uh, the most important role uh, to <clears throat> give uh, information for the women uh, of the human rights, uh, of the social rights, um, <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, and of the of, of the protection mm -hmm. of the protection uh, from the the social policy system for the social security system in Hungary and in Switzerland also. <coughs> okay, okay. Um, any other question? No, if not, maybe we have it at the end of the next presentation, which okay. comes- Thank you which comes from Julia. Yeah, thank you very much, Kathleen, for that very impressive presentation. And it shows us very in detail the situation of a specific group of people affected by that we were before discussing very theoretically. Uh -huh. And then we will listen to the second case study, which once and once again goes into a Uh, situation situation of um, um, specific groups. This comes from Julia. She's an you are an anthropologist uh, working in the at the University of Neuchâtel. Um, you are also very experienced in that what you are presenting today. Um, a lot of studies um, about the Roma, the so-called Roma. You will explain that this is a construction being Roma, or there are so many different um, aspects in that, what we call like that. Um, your research is, as we have heard already, um, in, in the direction of vulnerable groups and the question of integrating them, combined with an innovative idea of getting them into the right of being a citizen. So, and that is um, the topic for today of your presentation. Um, welcome, Julia, and thank you very much in advance. Thank you very much for uh, introducing me, for uh, inviting me. Uh, maybe just a uh, uh, detail, I'm not working in uh, University of Neuchâtel, but in uh, um, applied uh, uh, social sciences, uh, social work school in Geneva as researcher. I did my PhD in Neuchâtel, that's maybe the oh, right. reason yeah, of the yeah. little confusion. Um, you have to give me the permission to share because... Uh, I'm not the one who is in charge of that. You, 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 is, you are co-host. Yeah, otherwise Sabrina or Sean, do you, have the, but, uh, do you have it, the slides so that you can present? Yeah. I can, I can put oh, them. Thank you, <clears> yeah, <throat> thanks. thanks a lot. Okay. Um, just for an information, we have to automatically, this Zoom session stops at 10.35. So, mm -hmm. Julia, don't worry about me when I stop you at 10.30 exactly, so that we have uh, five minutes left together. Okay, I will uh, run quickly. No, 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 no. of course not. So, um, my expertise actually come from uh, um, fieldwork among Uh, Roma communities uh, since the beginning of 2000 uh, that I did in a few countries, 
first of all in Romania, but also in uh, Belgium and Switzerland. And, um, and actually the most recent research uh, I carried uh, is uh, carried, carried with uh, Monica Batalini uh, and uh, Maya Muller. And we did uh, um, perspective uh, analysis uh, because I can't really say that is a, a comparison. Uh, but the idea is to put together three different situations uh, in uh, two um, European in, in three sorry uh, European cities, which are uh, uh, Naples, uh, Geneva, and uh, Lyon. Actually, Lyon, Lyon, we we didn't yet the fieldwork because of the pandemic. So uh, our perspective at uh, that moment uh, puts together. Um, Naples and, and Geneva, which I will talk about. So um, many thanks for uh, your uh, inspiring uh, paper and uh, for uh, um, putting me in, into this challenge of uh, thinking about, uh, about uh, the different ways to conceptualize poverty. Um, actually, my idea is to, to focus um, on uh, not on, on the individual, um, a little bit less on the state and much more on the local communities and the local human resources. Uh, may I have the next slides, please? So um, first uh, case study, let's say, let's call it like that, is uh, the Geneva one. We did carried field work in a previous research, Sam, uh, this one that I already mentioned, um, uh, talking with uh, um, almost 50 uh, Roma people in uh, 10 uh, focus group like. Uh, uh, we use the social work uh, intervention method, uh, uh, which uh, was. Uh, um, a little bit uh, less constrainful uh, in term of um, in term of rules so the idea was to have the access to the the um, uh, roma experience uh, through this uh, th through this qualitative method and uh, um, as you know it already uh, because of this anti begging law uh, which ran uh, since uh, 2008 and up to this uh, uh, moment that uh, the European uh, law court uh, uh, puts a kind of end, not a formal one at, uh, at this moment, but uh, very soon, I, I, we hope so. Uh, so this anti-begging law uh, is at the base of the, of the whole uh, process of uh, police intimidation, harassment, brutalities, insults or penalties, uh, uh, experienced by Roma into a, a, a lot of stress, fear and feelings of uh, insecurity. Um, and uh, actually uh, at this, in this uh, image at, at the right side, you can see uh, this uh, uh, lack of uh, um, conditions uh, because the, the cleaning services are uh, uh, constantly uh, uh, dislocate this uh, um, scarce uh, scarce possibility to to to, to sleep and to uh, yes uh, low uh, low uh, level uh, access uh, uh, is uh, provided by uh, social services to uh, uh, food and uh, and um, shelter night shelter during uh, um, during uh, the, the the cold uh, season so um, there were uh, um, a, a lot of um, negative experience of uh, of the uh, this situation of that we can call the institution uh, according to all of your uh, developments uh, that i uh, um, attentively uh, followed before uh, may, maybe next uh, step uh, sabrina thank you um, the other situation is uh, in naples uh, where um, Actually, through this uh, NGO, Kiromet, <coughs> uh, 
uh, we can't follow uh, another um, situation. Um, first of all, we see that uh, here the Roma coming from uh, ex-Yugoslavia countries um, is uh, um, established as, as a community, a slum community, but uh, now they are in their third generation of uh, um, people. They are, they established uh, since the 80s and many of them ca came after that uh, during the Yugoslavian wars. So um, first difference uh, um, compared to Geneva is that they have a territory, uh, a special place, uh, which uh, facilitates um, the intervention of uh, different uh, NGOs, uh, religious activists, or uh, um, civil society uh, NGOs. Um, what is interesting that uh, um, this NGO has an uh, interesting uh, past uh, as militancy uh, into the um, into the, the um, anti-state uh, uh, attitude squatters movement in Naples, and they moved to the uh, a much more uh, um, uh, regular form. Uh, since the, uh, the beginning of 2000, uh, and they started a lot of educational, cultural, and artistic programs, um, which uh, is, uh, and also one interesting part is the Kiku uh, uh, Treteur uh, uh, restaurant, which hire, uh, which hires uh, uh, Roma uh, also with, uh, among, of course, uh, um, other other non-Roma people uh, from this uh, area. This is the uh, uh, timing that I put it. Um, so uh, Scampia, the name of this uh, neighborhood, uh, is actually a, a very um, famous place uh, as uh, very poor and uh, uh, very um, peripheral to, to the state um, because uh, since the 80s uh, a lot of uh, climate refugees also came um, um, big earthquake happened in in the 80s and a lot of uh, these uh, um, Italian refugees came into these uh, unfinished blocks and so on. Uh, and uh, in the 90s and 2000s, it became a kind of uh, uh, a, a kind of a drug dealer dealing ghetto. It's the considered the, the big ghetto in the, in Europe, Scampia. So uh, what is interesting to see is that Roma. Uh, are in um, a degree of inclusion into this uh, into this uh, neighbor area into different uh, uh, militancy that uh, happens and uh, um, the racist uh, uh, stigma is much more uh, um, is much more. Um, um, it's less actually. It's less. Uh, it's less uh, put it on 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 them compared to Geneva space. Next, uh, thank you very much. So my idea was to to come back and visit the um, literature on Roma that I knew of from uh, my previous uh, experience, mostly uh, in Romania and. Um, uh, for my Hungarian colleagues, I think uh, it's uh, kind of uh, uh, familiar to talk about uh, this uh, founding father of the modern sociology in Hungary, which are uh, Ladani and Seleni. Uh, 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 and they uh, started in the 70s uh, to, to with uh, a lot of uh, community studies, uh, and uh, uh, many of them were uh, um, Roma. Uh, in part of of this community were Roma, so uh, in this uh, uh, book they um, talk about uh, their long term uh, 
field work in Chenyate, one of these uh, poverty pockets uh, that Catalin uh, talked about, uh, another one of them. Uh, and actually, Roma in Geneva, uh, who are Romanians, come uh, from other similar po poverty packets. So this uh, place, Ceniate, uh, uh, was studied by the two uh, sociologists during uh, um, most um, uh, more than more than uh, eleven years, and uh, they also did a, a historical uh, um, study on it, and they uh, come to the conclusion that uh, during the nineteenth century uh, they belonged to a lower class. During the interwar, uh, they uh, become a caste. Uh, lower, and they, uh, they, they started to be considered into this uh, socialist system as a, a lower case, uh, caste. Uh, and it's uh, uh, only during the last two decades that they are in the process of, of becoming an underclass, underclass, which is a concept from uh, American sociology. And uh, I think if I can see the next uh, uh, slide, Sabrina, um, it's important to introduce also the ras racial discrimination. Um, in the 2000 uh, uh, time, uh, a lot of anthropologists were very uh, reluctant to uh, adopt this term uh, racial discrimination, saying that uh, there is uh, uh, not the, the to at all the same the same uh, uh, situation, the same uh, uh, relations between the uh, host society and the Roma, uh, as uh, we can see it uh, uh, with um, Black Americans in, in states. And uh, they considered that a lot of uh, um, this uh, new sociology was inspired by the American experience. And uh, I think it's uh, it's to take with, uh, with some uh, distance also this critique and uh, consider still consider racial discrimination come as a as a uh, as a part of uh, of the nexus of uh, destitution if we can call it like a nexus of destitution uh, thank you to to have the next one and i think uh, i i will come to the end uh, with this um, we can imagine that uh, if some Roma were moving forward through migration, uh, rather they came from uh, Hungary or from Romania uh, in Switzerland, uh, they can appear as, 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 destituted, as destituted. But in the same time, um, I think uh, uh, in other contexts like the Naples one, uh, it's very important to, to consider uh, how in, in a recent history uh, they, can, they can fit into the, 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 uh, into the whole uh, context, which is made by state, civil society, and also the community itself. It's very interesting, for example, at Naples, uh, in Naples to see how, uh, um, how uh, uh, Yugoslavian borders are recomposing on the in the Roma camp. So I think it's important to to um, um, to have uh, this uh, point of view of the community itself and the local context itself. And uh, talking about this standpoint, uh, if I can have the next uh, slides, I would like to, to say that it's also very important to, to ask people themselves about uh, how they would define uh, into this nexus. Uh, actually, the moment where the visibility was uh, challenged with this kind of discourse, uh, aesthetical one, uh, through photograph, uh, uh, photographs exposed in public spaces, uh, in Geneva was the case of Eric Rosset and uh, um, Yves, 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 um, Yves Laresh from Lausanne, uh, works, uh, photographic works. Uh, at that moment, uh, Roma people were very um, embarrassed about exposing like that their, uh, their poverty and saying, we are not like that. So I think it's also important to consider uh, 
community point of view and people themselves uh, in, in uh, subjectivity uh, um, expression. So that was my point and I hope uh, uh, it, could, it could be uh, useful to uh, consider these uh, nuances uh, about uh, destitution. Many thanks. Thank you very much, Thank you very Julia, much. Um, for this presentation. And before I start with my comments, I, I, I open the floor to all other colleagues. We still have some minutes for that. Yeah, Scholt, please. Thank you for the inspiring presentation, Julia. Just a short question. You mentioned that the racial biases were less intensive in Italy compared to Geneva, Switzerland. What do you think? Why is it because of the Swiss society is uh, ha have more biases against the Roma or because in the Italian environment in the Scambria ghetto, you mentioned people were among themselves in a ghettoized environment? I think there are many, thank you for uh, your uh, uh, question. And I think it's uh, actually cr uh, very important to, to uh, take this question uh, to understand uh, that uh, when I, I talk about context, it's really complex. And uh, it is uh, the society as you put it and the state but also this recent history and the, the way that the, the Roma community or communities or uh, families, because uh, uh, not always they are in a big uh, community, uh, uh, homogeneous community, um, are, uh, uh, are um, territorially in, uh, included in the urban mechanisms. And, and that's part of the, the um, picture and this big picture for me is important to be nuanced through uh, all these dimensions and I, I wouldn't say the, so, the the Swiss society is much more uh, distant or racialized or or uh, I wouldn't say that uh, I think it's it's much more uh, nuanced But my, my point actually is, is uh, that we have to, to think about, uh, you put it uh, the, like uh, uh, as in the same time, I mean, simultaneously a process and a status, okay? But also um, think uh, as nexus of destitution much more than one, one single concept, you know? Um, ah, Katalin, yes, please. Okay, just, uh, thank you. Just a short comment uh, to short questions and the Julia answers in um, Hungarian case. So I think that the Swiss, the Switzerland is a more inclusive uh, society like, uh, like a Hungarian or like Hungary. So many years ago, more than uh, 100 uh, Roma family moved to Canada, from Hungary to Canada, and uh, try to stay as a political uh, migration um, um, in, in Canada. Uh, but it's, impossible because so the um, Hungary is a democracy. Yes, it's a democracy state and, um, and, um, and uh, the political attack is, uh, isn't uh, to the Roma uh, population. Um, and and, uh, and the people who choose uh, this possibility to move to Canada, they said the, that they are exclusion uh, from the Hungarian society, and the Canada is the inclusion. So, 
no. but it's a hypothetic, uh, mm -hmm. uh, but yes, it, it's a realistic, mm -hmm. I think. A reaction to that, Julia, or? Uh, I, I think it's, it's a, Maybe interesting to, to, to put it uh, different scales of integration. It, it, it's maybe necessary also for social policies. But uh, when I gave this example of uh, Naples, Italian society is not at all inclusive, but mm -hmm. this particular place in its history, it is very inclusive, which is paradoxical actually. Mm -hmm. um, some, uh, some, uh, um, Anthropologists like uh, Martin Olivera, uh, who studied the uh, uh, Gabor community in uh, Transylvania, uh, he talks about uh, local integration. Uh, Romanian society is not at all inclusive. There, it is very racist, and uh, a lot of uh, elements uh, uh, today talk about anti gypsyism as in Hungary. But in this particular place, uh, studying history of the local communities and the interaction between Roma and non Roma, it appears that uh, a logic a logic of uh, integration, it is, in, uh, it is uh, very rooted, very uh, became tradition mm -hmm. actually, mm -hmm. and which is paradoxical. And, and I think it's, it's important to take into consideration these local paradoxes. Okay, we will, we will be cut off in a, in a very few seconds without any influence from my point. So thank you very much for that discussion. And I'm sure we, we already started this collaboration with uh, Julia and uh, Katalin uh, in the project. And we, we will go forward for that. That was one of the results of our session today. Thank you very much for presentation. And uh, thank you very much for the technical assistance, which we did not really need, but it was there in the background. And that is very good to know. <laughs> so have a good day at the conference and uh, for the next opportunity. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye.